All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Um, I'm going to make a recover video for you. Um, this is for your hard drives that have failed, but they're not entirely failed. It depends um, if you catch this soon enough. Usually, first time a hard drive fails, you're able to do this. But if you're just like, oh, it failed, let me just reinstall an operating system, do it again, and keep on doing it, then you're not going to be able to get anything out of it. But so, for an example, I have a 160 gigabyte WD um, hard drive here, and uh, well, it failed. <laughs> and uh, well, I believe it failed. I'm gonna find this out right now, but I'm gonna show you the recovery process anyway. So, a um, couple things you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need to take your hard drive out of your computer or your laptop, and uh, also go online. And uh, you get this nice little packet here. It's a SATA, a, a SATA IDE reader 2.0 USB. It's got the two forms of the uh, two forms of IDE it's for floppy drives, and also for your basic old school hard drives and CD drives, things like that that are not SATA. And then you have your SATA port here. You're gonna need a SATA cable, which I believe I got one in here. There we go. Is actually for an Xbox, but it'll work. So you need a SATA cable, and you also need its power supply. Now the power supply is just standard, fucking old school, and uh, you get the SATA converter with it. So you just go ahead and plug that on there, like so, and uh, you're good to roll with SATA. So first thing you want to do is um, before you plug anything in, um, plug in your SATA cables to the uh, SATA IDE reader segment. Like so. If I can get the goddamn thing on there. Right, there we go. So that's all plugged in fine and dandy. Now, take your SATA here and uh, just plug it in to the hard drive, like so. Alright, now, once you've done that, here's your IDE. SATA reader, USB 2.0. Go ahead and plug a USB into the computer. All right, now it's not going to read it yet because it doesn't have any power to it. So just leave that plugged in for now. Now, take the SATA power cable and plug that in to the SATA drive here. Plug that in. Alright, now I'm just going to pop this drive back here. Go ahead and angle this over here and plug it in. And the hard drive should begin to spin. As the hard drive starts spinning, let that load up. What you want to do is go to your start menu. It's going to install the driver software for the hard drive that you plugged in. It's not for the USB. The USB doesn't have any drivers. Um, this is just going to be read as a mass storage device. So let's right click here and click manage. And uh, So right click on computer, go to manage, and see if it reads the disk. <sighs> I need a faster processor. Big time. Come on. There we are. Disk management. Clicking on that now. And it's going to connect and look up all the possible disks that are connected to your fucking board right now. So, here we go. Now, here's disk zero, which is basically the hard drive in your computer here. And then the uh, removable drive right here, which I have no media in, the SD card. But here's my stat partition right there. And this too is what we're looking at here. And obviously you can see it's labeled Acer G or whatever. And uh, let's see if I can explore this. And I can. So, I guess this hard drive isn't bad. It must be something to do with the fucking either onboard memory or the CMOS battery on the laptop. 
So that solves that problem. But I will go over the recover process stated quickly. And I probably won't recover anything because I have no need to now. But I will show you the steps. So here we go. Start. Go to the search and search CMD. Now don't hit enter because you want it to come up here. Now you want to right click on this and say run as administrator. So run as administrator. Select yes when the prompt comes up. You're not going to see it in there. And you're going to see your little command prompt come up. Hooray for a command prompt. Now, if you're not too familiar with command prompt, you can type help. And it'll list a whole bunch of the basic commands right there for you, no problem. So typing help, come up here and you can see clearly recover. Recovers readable information from a bad or defective disk, meaning your fucking hard drive. So, I'm just going to create new window here or let's see, open. oh yeah let's start there we go start so let's recover now it's all in capital letters um and now you're gonna you see how it comes up you type recover and you could type it in lowercase too like that and it'll come up the same way. Command prompt for Windows 7 is relatively smarter than regular DOS. So everything isn't like caps, case sensitive, shit like that. Command shell is, but, or PowerShell or whatever the fuck it's called. But this, you don't have to worry about that too much. But type recover, it's going to say in brackets, drive with a colon, which is the, you know, the G colon drive and the path or file name. So, Come in here, type recover, recover, and then you're going to space, and you're going to simply put G and colon. Okay, now it wants me to do a check disk. Okay, DSK. Why? Right. That'll be right there. Okay, so now I'm doing the check disk on the hard drive because for some reason it wants me to. To get equivalent functionality, use check disk. Okay, so I'm gonna let the check disk do its thing here and uh, I'll get back to you. And by the way, check disk is CHKDSK, and again, you don't have to have capital letters, it's not case sensitive, just type it, space, and then hit G colon but make sure G is capital because that is case sensitive so there's things and varies so um and you'll learn that all through going with command prompt things like that but I'm gonna pause this video real quick and uh, when I come back the check disk should be finished and then we'll go back to recovering the data so I will return alright so now that the check disk is done you can see that at the bottom here it says Windows found problems with the file system. Run check disk with the F fix option to correct these. So, um, basically what you want to do is CHK DSK space G colon and then you want to go slash and then capital F and hit enter. And now it will repair the problems that have occurred so it's gonna take a little bit longer than the regular check disk by the way just letting you know um, so I'm gonna pause this video again again you have to go through this with the restore process um, to make sure that you get all the files possible to you uh, that's basically what this does so I'll be right back alright so now that the file system has been corrected you can now um, do the recover so type recover and hit enter and it's gonna say recover and then in brackets the drive and the path and file name or whatever and then you just simply type R E C O V E R space G colon and hit enter and then uh, blah, 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 blah. probably gonna say your volume isn't supported probably because it's NTFS so you'll have to select specific volumes in order to recover it. For an example, R E C O V E R space G colon 
and then slash and then uh user users and hit enter and then it'll say press enter to begin the recovery of the file on drive G and then you just hit enter and it recovers your files to whatever designated folder you want so that's how you do your recovery so thanks for watching enjoy this video I hope this helps you and uh, rate comment and subscribe check out my website software reborn this video will be posted up there as well as the description on the website and underneath this video and uh, feel free to donate to my channel for proceeds for more materials for tutorials for you guys and I will talk to you guys later